In this video, I'll share with you how to create binge-worthy YouTube playlists that will get you more views and watch time for your YouTube channel. And stick around till the end of the video and I'll share with you some tips on how to promote your playlist so you get more exposure for your channel. You see, YouTube's goal is to get more viewers to stick around in their platform much longer. So playlists are a feature in YouTube to allow you to group videos together to make them much more easier to watch and create this binge-worthy effect that YouTube loves. How to create a playlist on your YouTube channel. So first things first, head over to your channel and then click on Customize Channel. And then at the top right here, click on New Playlist and give it a title and then set the visibility to public if you want people to be able to see and find this playlist. Click Create. Once you've created your playlist, you can now click this button to edit. To add a new video, head over to this button right here and click on Add Videos. Go to your YouTube videos to find your YouTube videos, obviously. <laughs> you can hold shift to multi-select and click add videos. You can rearrange the order of the videos and the topmost video will be the one that will appear as a thumbnail for the overall playlist. And those created playlists will be in your channel under the playlist tab. And here's the playlist right here. If you don't see it, just click on refresh to make sure that you have the latest information. Okay, now that you know how to create playlists, how do you make it binge worthy? How do you make it so that people will be interested to watch every single video in this playlist continuously? So here's some strategies that I would recommend. The first one is to make it a multi-part tutorial. So rather than making a longer video of, let's say, how to create 3D models in Blender, why not break it down into different chunks and then create a playlist so that people can easily reference the different parts of the video. In this example here, this is my other YouTube channel, Pixel Mystique Games, where I focus on game development. And in this particular playlist, I teach the viewers how to create a level in Unity, which is a game software. And I clearly state part one, part two, part three, and this way people would know where to start and where to stop. So not only would this playlist help things to be more organized and easier to find, but also helps the viewer to orient themselves and to know where they are within the entire journey. The next thing to think about is recurring series. If you have a daily or weekly or monthly type of show, compiling it into a playlist will make it much easier for someone to look for the content. So in this example, I have Game Ranks, which is a gaming channel, and they have a Game Ranks live Tuesdays at 4 p.m. Eastern time and I can easily find that because they already have all of it in this playlist. So this is good for a couple of reasons. First of all, it allows new subscribers to figure out what kind of shows you have that are recurring on a daily or weekly basis. The second is that if I'm a subscriber and I missed this week's show, I would like to easily find that show within your channel and the playlist will help me to stay organized and find it. Here's a power tip, if you want to make things easier for yourself and also for your viewer, you can head over to your playlist and change the settings by clicking this button right here, hit playlist settings, and then you can set new videos to the top of the playlist. If you enable this, it will automatically push the latest video to the top so you don't have to worry about rearranging your playlist and the videos every single time. The next powerful tip I have to create a good playlist is to think about relatable content. So in this example, you can create multiple videos for the same topic, but you are compiling it into one playlist so that viewers can find it very easily. In this example, I'm sharing this particular playlist from um, Tech Gear Talk. So this channel covers a lot of Tech Gear reviews and also cameras. So specifically, when I'm looking for the Canon M50, there's a playlist that's helpful here. It says Canon M50, everything you need to know. When you go through that playlist, it not only walks through tutorials, but it also goes through the different types of gear and attachment I might want to consider buying when I'm purchasing this new camera. So one way to look at it is I might start the journey as a buyer who's looking for a new camera. So I look for camera reviews. And then from there, I watch one of the videos that has the camera review. I want to know the experience of the buyer who has purchased this particular camera model. And that's where all these other tutorials come in. What about the different lenses I should buy? What are the settings I need to configure when I first get the camera out of the box? What are the different techniques I should use when I'm using the camera as a video camera versus taking photos? 
these tutorials are included in this playlist and this creates a huge binge watching effect. Trust me, I've been through that. So here's another example. Since you have watched all the way till this part of this video, I assume that you like to learn more about YouTube growth and how to get more views. So check out this playlist right here. Link will also be in the description below. You see what I did there? I just promoted my own playlist. So here are some other tips on how you can promote your playlist. One of the first things you can do is add playlists into your YouTube channel page like this. So to do this, head over to the customize channel button. And then once in your channel, you can head over to your layout, which is the first things that you see. And as you go down, you can have different sections. Click on add section, click on single playlist. Let's find the previous playlist we just created, this one. And it will appear at the bottom of the list of playlists that you have. You can then rearrange the playlist. And once you're happy with that, click on publish. And the next time that you go to your channel, you will find that you have the new playlist in this new channel layout. So this will make it easier for people who land on your channel page to find the best content that you have to offer because you've already organized them in a different playlist and they are upfront. The next tip I have is to promote your playlist outside of YouTube, whether it's on your social media, different online forums, your email list, there are two main ways for you to share this playlist out. Head over to one of your playlists and you'll find there is a share button here. Click on that and you can immediately just copy that playlist link and paste it wherever you need to. So when people click on the link, they'll see this exact view of the playlist and the different types of videos available, but it won't autoplay until you click. Now, the second way is to share the specific video link within the playlist itself. So what you can do is click over this video in your playlist and then select copy link address. So when people click on a link, it will autoplay to the specific video that you shared and they can see on the right, there'll be a view of the other videos within this playlist. They'll be aware that this is part of a bigger series and there are more videos related to this one. By the way, if you have more questions about YouTube growth, check out this Facebook group that I've created. There are free resources there and you can connect with other video creators as well. Link in the description below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. It lets me know that I need to make more videos like this one. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.